and we are with the voice of the Green Bay Packers. He's got the pipes, Wayne Lurvey. <laughs> Welcome to training camp. It, it, it's always fun when you get here, right? Yeah, it sure is. A lot of optimism the first day and a lot of energy and excitement. Let's talk about Aaron Rodgers and this contract. It seems like everybody's been talking about it. Is that really a big deal going into camp right now? Uh, you know, I think they'd like to get it done, Rod, uh, sooner rather than later, certainly from an organization standpoint. But for Aaron, I, I know he can compartmentalize the business from the playing aspect of it. Right now, he's into playing the game. Yeah. What about, do you think something like that lingers when you got quarterbacks that aren't as good as you, making more money than you, playing when the season starts? Do you think that bothers him? I, <laughs> I There's a competitive juice that has to be a part of it, but um, I think with him, he's able again to put it in perspective and say, hey, I know I'm going to get paid at some point. So it's, uh, you know, it just, he's always told me that he says, you know, you sign a contract, and by the time the next guy signs, your contract's kind of obsolete anyway. That's just the business of the game, and he understands that. Yeah. Let's talk about defense. How different is this defense going to look with Mike Pettin's defensive coordinator? Because it's been a while since I've had a new face there. Yeah, I think, you know, we're going to see that coming up. Once they put the pads on, we'll start seeing how it takes shape. It's hard to tell when they're playing in just, you know, shorts and T-shirts. But um, I think this is going to be a more aggressive defense play with a little more fire. I think they're going to get pass rush up front. They have a very strong defensive line. Um, um, you know, I think they'll have enough people in the secondary, the cornerback especially, uh, to play better. And if they're healthier this year, Rod, they'll be better. How about Jair Alexander and Josh Jackson? These are a couple of guys that they really want a lot from. What do you what are you expecting out of those guys their first year? Because they're going to need them. Yeah, they're going to need them. I mean, it's not easy for rookies to play a cornerback in the NFL right away, but these guys are going to have to play a role. There's no question about that. Jair Alexander, good, great speed, obviously, and, and I think very good quickness to cover in the slot. And really, Jackson, Josh Jackson just looks like, to me, a great outside receiver. He looks the part outside cornerback, cover corner. So we'll see how it goes. But the thing I noticed about Jackson in the OTAs and minicamp, he has a nose for the ball. You can see why he had, he had such a big year with turnovers last year at Iowa. A little different with no more Morgan Burnett at safety. That spot is open, and you got a couple guys looking for it. Let's talk about that. Yeah, Josh Jackson being one. Of course, they drafted him in the second round a year ago, and he played a lot of different positions. And then also, you know, Bryce? when you look at Kentrell Bryce, he's a guy who's impressed us from the beginning, you know, a couple of years ago when he came on as a free agent and started hitting people and really in the preseason games. I think he's got a guy. I think that's a 50-50 proposition. I think there's a chance Kentrell Bryce could win that position. We'll have to see how it plays out, but both are very good. How about 21? He's got to make it. He's got to take a big step. I mean, I would say at safety. He didn't, he's coming off a bad year. What do they need from him this season? I think they need consistency. I think they need him to play center field to be the ball hawk he was two years ago, um, to make hits, come up, support the run on occasion, that type of thing. But I think really his, you know, and, and so much of what he'll be doing with this young secondary on the field, um, he'll be directing traffic too. I think he has to take a little more of a leadership role back there, and I expect he will. Right, last one for you. What rookie are you looking forward to see jump off the page this year? Like what, what guy? You always, everybody always picks a guy like I think he's going to be a player. What guy are you thinking about? Equinemius St. Brown. I think that. Say guy. that again. Equinemia St. Brown. I like I've been that. working on it. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I think this kid has got uh, great range in terms of a catch radius, and he has very good speed. I think he's going to be a nice player. I was impressed with him in the OTAs of minicamp. We'll see in training camp when they put the pads on. That tells it all. Equinemius St. Brown. Did I get it right? Equinemius. Equinemius St. Brown. I hope I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> he's Wayne Larry, and I'm Rod Burks.